Hi, my name is Uriah Pollock. I'm a senior software engineer at Mapisoft Technologies. I'm here today to show you a demonstration and introduce you to some of the products that we offer at Mapisoft. Uh, the main product that we offer is the Application Common Operating Environment, which is a collection of multiple products that can be used individually or as a whole to enable and speed up the porting time that many uh, embedded software engineers take to port their application from one OS to another OS. There's many reasons why that may need to be done. Could be because the new version of your product has features that your current operating system does not support, or the hardware does not support, or that that operating system is no longer supported by the company that produces it, or just simply need to move for cost reasons or various other reasons to a different operating systems. So we'll go over a short overview of those products and then I'll demonstrate using AppCo uh, to how we execute and debug within our environment. We'll create a template project and we'll show de uh, debugging that template project and generating some optimized source code and full source code which you then can use to move onto your target operating system and target hardware. Here's a quick shot of a lot of the different products that we have from cross OS development to an OS simulator, to an OS changing porting kit to help you move, and also including porting your ADA to C++ if you have older ADA code that needs to be converted over to C or C++. This slide shows a quick overview of the flow of how this works. So you have your either ADA applications or your C++ applications and the different APIs that they currently use. Could be FreeRTOS, could be ThreadX, Nucleus. All of these we support. Our OS abstractor allows you to then change those to a myriad of other target platforms that we support down at the bottom. It could be Linux, it could be NetBSD, Solaris, VxWorks. All of these we support. So you can take yours from one operating system that you currently support, your application, and seamlessly move it over, port it to another one that your, that your target platform will be. This saves time, money, and effort, making it easier for the development engineers. And in the middle, there's also a simulation platform. If you want to do some simulation type work on Windows or on Linux, that is also provided that you could do a little bit of development work before you actually make the switch to the target platform or to the target hardware. Uh, today I'll be working on Windows 10 64-bit. So let's switch over to AppCo, which I have already loaded and I have a license installed. This is our current release. It's version 1.8.0 and for today I've chosen ThreadX uh, which is a pre-built all of these demos for the different supported our tosses that we support you can see come with built with our evaluation uh, this is the main simple demo application as you can see there are ThreadX calls that are used throughout this demo and again this is running on Windows 10 64-bit so we can do a simple run of it as a local application and we can see the output in the console from this application here. Now if we would like to debug that, this is all within the simulation environment and we'll debug it as an AppCo application. This provides console output and other advantages that the AppCo and the CrossOS products understand as opposed to debugging as a standard local application. And yes, we want to go to the debug perspective. And here we stop at main like normal. And once we cross into OS main, this is where the environment is set up with all these different configuration options, max tasks, timers, pull time slice, and so forth that you would need. These are all configurable within AppCo or within the pure source code itself. It depends on how you would like to use it. Now, I already have breakpoints set up within the application, so we can just run to them. And here we are in one of the first tasks. 
or send a queue task. I mean, you step through all this like normal debugging. You can hop around to some of the other breakpoints I've already set up. And this is all within the simulation environment. And also, in the background here, what popped up is our console window. So if you need to print out any debug information to help you when you're uh, working with the code or just simple information you need to show, it will all come through this console window. And we can continue with just normal debugging type stuff. The point here is that this is a ThreadX application running on Windows. This could be changed to this ThreadX application running on Linux or running on VxWorks, or it could be a VxWorks application running on Linux. It's, it's all up to you and how you decide to port your application and make that decision. So we'll go ahead and kill that and we'll go over to projects. Now, let's create a template project. So I'll say new AppCo project. We'll just call it Red X. X. Of course, you can put in anything you want. And this may not pertain to your particular application. This is just for the template setup options. Debug and release configurations, of course. And we want ThreadX APIs. You can pick any of these you like. You can pick more than one if you want. So let's build our new template project. You can see we're using GCC as a compiler. This can be switched, depends on your particular needs. Okay. And here's our application. Now this being this is a template, it's very simple. You can come in here and start adding in your own code. You could use this as a starting place or just to get familiar with the product. So let's go ahead and throw in some great points. And Debug it. So, same sort of setup that we just saw in the previous pre build demos. We can jump to our breakpoints. And I'll hop back and forth like we expect. We should have a console window here. Welcome to ThreadX interface. Now, if you've done some work on this within the simulation environment and you'd like to export it to be used somewhere else, you can use the optimized code generator and say our target is VxWorks. So there is VxWorks and we do want a project file. We'll leave it as a win with the project. That means our target OS is VxWorks. We're going to run ThreadX on VxWorks. So let's see. We're going to save it here. Optimize demo export. Right, let's go back here. So you have lots of things to configure. If you want to do profiling, if you want to do your particular custom applications that you'd like to profile. And we'll go into profiling in a separate demo. Now, in this simple template demo, these are the API calls, the ThreadX API calls that AppCo has detected. And what it does is it will include only these calls within the outputted image. So it reduces your code size, gives you more overhead to add your own code when you start doing that moving forward. And you also have the option, if you'd like, to take one of these and turn it into a macro function instead of just keeping the full function. Okay. And those configuration options I mentioned before when we went through main stepping 
all of these are those options. Debugging, all your resources, memory sizes, processes, if you want to have enter process functions, let's leave those to defaults for the purpose of this demo. Okay, so success for generating that. Now if we go to where it put that, here you can see, here's our project files, our make files for Wind River, our include, our optimized source files, and our source files. So that's one way to do it. Another way is say, for example, you wanted to have everything. You want the full package because and the slide on the left side, you're going to output everything, all the required components, all of the interfaces. Then you're going to hook in your drivers and go to your target platform, which you're then going to work on your actual hardware. So let's go back and do that. So let's try, we want our target OS to be Linux. And we want ThreadX interfaces. So that means we're going to have a ThreadX application running on Linux. And that will be our full source code export. This takes a little bit because it's pulling in all of that code from everything and not just the optimized pieces. But not too long. Okay. And also you can see you get documents included with that. Reference manual for app code. Documentation for system configuration. Basically, everything you need to start moving forward onto your target OS and hardware. Now, we can go look at this, and we have a lot more generated. There's your cross OS for Linux. You get a demo. There's your ThreadX demo. Your documents come along for the ride. There's your ThreadX interfaces, and your include files. So at this point, you're ready to go to start working on your target operating system and hardware. We'll do another demonstration in the future to talk about the profiler and other ways to pull in an existing application and show how you could port that over from an existing application we have over to another operating system. And that concludes the demo for now. Uh, this evaluation of APCO, you can download it from mapusoft.com. And for getting an evaluation license, you can contact mapusoft.com at contact or just send an email to sales at mapusoft.com. And if you have any questions about anything, please just feel free to email sales at mapusoft.com and we'll answer them as quickly as we can. Thank you.